Subscribe our channel for latest news updates. Black Olympian just pissed off Trump with nasty ultimatum after racist flag honor goes to white girl. The 2018 Winter Olympics is officially kicking off in Pyeongchang and is supposed to be an event where all cultures and all countries come together in one place to celebrate sports excellence, everyone's differences, and achievements. It's an environment counter to racism as nothing excludes someone from competition except their own athletic ability. The games had already been politicized prior to now from American athletes intent on using the world stage to bash our administration. Now that the games are about to officially be underway, a new divisive American athlete has decided to destroy the event for everyone, starting with the spectacular opening ceremonies that the whole world will be watching. After a U.S. speed skater Shawnee Davis announced yesterday that the results of the coin toss to determine which competitor would carry the American flag in the ceremonies was racist, he doubled down on his depraved stance just 12 hours later with a nasty ultimatum for President Trump. It didn't take long for him to find out what a bad idea that was. Clearly, there's nothing racist in the flip of a coin that's uninfluenced by people and their differences. Davis clearly didn't like that a white female athlete was awarded the honor as a result of the coin toss, which is what's actually racist. Clearly missing the point that he's part of Team USA and represents our country on the world stage, this racist man-child immediately took his anger to Twitter to humiliate himself with his claim that the games are racist, invoking Black History Month as an excuse to his stance. He should have seen participation in the Olympics and the opportunity to represent our great nation as the honor it is but made it about himself and his gross biases instead. This didn't work out so well for athletes in the NFL and he shouldn't expect anything different in this sporting event, but that's still not stopping him. Davis is insistent on keeping racism at the forefront of the games and is perpetuating this theme by not attending the opening ceremonies where the white athlete he lost out to will be carrying the flag. Evidently, he thought that by screaming unfair treatment people would give in to him, perhaps he could guilt the girl into letting him hold the flag that he feels entitled to carry, or that President Donald Trump himself would intervene on his behalf. His ultimatum is basically that either he or another black athlete carry the flag or he's not coming. Thankfully, he didn't get his way and like the petulant child he is, he's putting himself in time out to make a point I am an American and when I won the 1000 meter in 2010 I became the first American to two-pete in that event. At Team USA dishonorably tossed a coin to decide its 2018 flag bearer. No problem. I can wait until 2022. Hashtag Black History Month 2018 Hashtag Pai Yang Chan 2018 His original tweet read that kicked the Olympics off with a divisive agenda for Team USA. However, his friend, Nathaniel Mills, came to his defense and is perhaps the only one who has. Mills, who happens to not only be a close friend of Davis, is also a former public relations officer and legal counsel, so it's clear he knows what he's doing in smoothing over this bad PR move by the athlete. That doesn't sound like Shunny, Mills told USA Today Sports, in a text message. I'd be surprised if he wrote it. Unfortunately for Davis, who hasn't removed the message and still plans on not attending the opening ceremonies, nobody will miss him or care that he's not there. The ceremonies will be filled with such pride, pomp, and circumstance that all eyes will be on the respectable participants coming together as a team. The void of his existence won't even be realized or publicly acknowledged which probably isn't what he's hoping for. His racism claim is so far-fetched that it's doubtful that the mass majority of other black Americans support him in this statement. He's making them look bad by doing this. If the Olympics represent anything, it's that awards aren't just handed out, they're earned through an exceptional amount of hard work and dedication to perfecting one's ability. He or she who carries the flag are not picked based on anything different other than merit or sheer chance. If the games were racist, then Davis wouldn't have been selected to compete. His white, 
less skilled counterpart would have been.